Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a bit unusual because I'm going to show you some new feature that's available on my phone right here. This is actually a review phone but since I got the feature on the review phone so might as well show you what this new feature is. So as you can see on the title here, yes this is the mashup emoji feature that's available on the Gboard Beta keyboard. So yeah, I'm just going to show you real quick on how to enable this feature. So let me just go into Telegram right here. Uh, yeah, you shall be my victim for today. And when you go into the Gboard settings, you have this new feature that is called Emoji Browsing. This one. Emoji Browsing Suggestions suggests GIF or GIF, whatever. Sticker content and whenever you select the emojis in your Emoji Keyboard. So back to my victim here, I'm just going to demonstrate to you how this actually works. So for example, uh, let me just select an emoji like uh, this one. And you can see that there are a lot of different mishmash of emojis displayed here. And when I tap on this, it actually sends out as a PNG image. How do I know it's PNG? Well, first black background and it is in contrast with my dark blue background. I can even save it as an image so I can save it to gallery and now I can send it to anyone else maybe. So let's just try other emojis as of now. So we can do the iconic poop emoji and you can see it mishmash with the ghost emoji and it become a poop head ghost. So yeah and maybe you would like a lovely poop, a clown poop. Is there any clown poop? Yes, but there's no poop, unfortunately. Oh yeah, this is something interesting. So as you can see here, uh, the heart shape emoji has turned into a clown white face with two blush cheeks, a red nose and also some clown hair. This is something unique. And then when we go to some other emojis like the swearing word emoji, you can see that all of these are swearing in these kind of symbols. But the kissy face is turned into this kind of different version of a mishmash of emojis. So yeah, this is something unique that Google has done to the Gbot feature. And this feature is actually very reminiscent of the emoji mashup bot that I have been following on Twitter for quite some time now actually. Let me just open up my Twitter right here. Uh, yeah, emoji mashup bot, you can follow them on Twitter and I suspect that Google actually took inspiration from this bot itself because, well, you can see these are all mishmash of emojis. I find it kind of funny because I'm just browsing Twitter sometime and then I see this kind of weird yet it's kind of funny type of emojis and they don't belong together but when you mash them together for some reason it just works. So for example you have this uh, I don't know this one it looks something like Thundercats I'm not too sure and then you have a lot of weird emojis I yeah you have to scroll all the way down yeah middle finger good job this one <laughs> winking and dizzy for some reason, it became something that is not winking plus dizzy. So yeah, this is why I'd say the mashing of emojis is kind of weird, but it works. Yeah, ogre and frowning. It looks more like a humanoid devil. Yeah, sleepy poo. And then yeah, you have a lot of all these different type of emojis. And why I suspect Google is following this kind of trend is because it's really similar in terms of how they work because you are taking two emojis, one their face expression and then the second one is their face layout I guess. So when you match them together you get something unique. And thanks to this guy over here, this guy is by the name of Luan Ben. I'm not too sure how to pronounce his name, I might have butchered that, sorry. This is the creator of the Emoji Mashup bot and his work on the Emoji Mashup bot is actually quite influential. He has a total of two bots. The emoji mashup bot combines two different emojis into one, like this. And the second bot, which is the emoji mashup plus, is combining a total of three emojis into one. So you can see laughing crying emoji plus cat plus smile and you get this cheeky cat face. And then you also have, uh, what is this, apple glasses? 
with open tongue. Yeah, these are a few of the unique mishmash of emojis. So a few other demonstrations that I want to show off is uh, thinking emoji. So yeah, you get thinking monkey thinking emoji, a heart thinking emoji, and even a ghost thinking emoji but without the hand. These are all unique. This is somewhat special, I guess. And then you also have, uh, let's just go for the, uh, let me find the smirk face emoji, this one. Yeah, you can see it kind of sort of works. As you can see here, this one laughing crying emoji with the smirk face is kind of weird. And the heart shape with the smirking emoji is actually reminiscent of Ricardo from Adventure Time, if you watch that show. Yeah, I like that show and I like Ricardo as a character a lot. And then you also have... Um, Pain face, uh, hard pain I guess, and then you have this one, and also a ghost face with the pain face, and even the monocle face, somehow it works. I, I don't know how to describe it. So a mishmash of emojis here is technically for your creativity and it actually works across multiple different platforms. Right now I'm using Telegram. I also tried on Facebook Messenger and uh, what was that again? WhatsApp. All of them sent out these emojis as pictures, native PNG pictures. And yeah, you can share them to anyone that you want to. And yeah, they will just receive it even though they don't have Gbot. And that's just good. So that's all for this video. I just want to show off the matching of emojis, the emoji mashup feature on the new Gbot beta. And I hope you like this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.